When you get to school in the morning, it's time to throw on your lab coat. The time of great ideas are dawning, all scientists like to glow. So you can be that mad scientist that make an experiment across the universe like Doctor Who. You can be that pharmacist that puts on your medicine to get on board science for you. study in all about dreams. Hi, we're joined by Frederick Smith, who took part in the Dementor Climate Experiment. So, Frederick, what did you have to do exactly? Well, I went to sleep, you see, and then like, they woke me up like every 5 or 15 minutes, but I went to which one I was like, woke up at, and when they woke me up, I actually like, estimated like, how long I'm going to sleep for. And how good were you at the estimation? I'm not very good at all, I I, I didn't know anyone could. So, did you take part in any of the tests? Well, whilst I was asleep, they got like an alarm right next to me and it was really loud. It would give me a heart attack every time it went off, but it woke me up and I had to like, recall my dreams, but I couldn't remember it after long enough. So, what did you think? Did you think the experiment was a good experiment to do? I think they could have done like loads as well, but I was quite happy with it. Right, okay, so that's our interview with Frederick. So thank you, Frederick, for coming no in today. Worries. Nice to meet you. Sweet. Um, coming up next is the interview with the actual experimenter. Hi, Mum, I'm on the telly. Welcome back. We're here with William Dement, one of the experimenters with the Dream Study. So, William, what were you going to the study? Well, in our experiment, we were trying to see if there was a correlation between rapid eye movement, sleep, and dreaming. So, did you have any other aims? We had two other aims. The first aim was to see if there was a correlation between the length of dream and eye movement sleep. And the final aim was to see if there was, if there was a pattern between the eye movement and content of dream. Oh, right, and did you find out that that was a good experiment to do? No. Why yes. not? No. experimenters, all the subjects are asleep and all that all we're doing now is testing their REM, rapid eye movement and non-REM, non-rapid eye movement. Now this man over here looks like he's having a dream, maybe a, a, a scary dream or something, something is not quite comfortable. Alright, so I'm going to go and wake Frederick up and ask him if he's been sleeping for 5 or 15 minutes. Mm. Have you been sleeping for 5 or 15 minutes? Five. Okay. Yeah. Record down the dream, okay? So. Yeah. In actual fact, Frederick has been sleeping for 15 minutes. So unfortunately he got that question wrong. But he can record down his dreams and we'll have a look at those dreams afterwards. And that's a wrap. Did you take part in any other tests? Well, <laughs> 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 <laughs>